I've told a few days ago that I was working on an audio amplifier. And I made this circuit from an old book from 40 years ago and it did not work. I also made a few mistakes but anyway. Here I've made a circuit that really works. But uh, I want to show in this video all the problems that you can expect when you want to develop an audio amplifier. That's what I'm doing here. Here I have a, a 2N3055 NPN. Here the tip 2955 PMP. And this is in fact a classical uh, a 4 transistor or even 5 audio amplifier. It's built in the way that I make it always on wood um, and that wood is soaked first with PVC glue. But I want especially show the problems that occur when you want to make such a circuit. So here you see when you want to develop an audio amp what can you expect? At first oscillations, instability and distortion. The oscillations I want to show now. This is that amp. I'm going to raise the voltage now. On the scope we see the waveform but This is typical oscillation and this oscillation uh, is, uh, is there on all frequencies. A kind of burst uh, superposed on the, the frequency that's amplified and that's this frequency generated by my sine wave generator. What is the remedy? Let me show it. Here we have a cap, this cap here, a big cap and when I connect it, uh, this cap parallel to the positive and the negative lead, it stops. Now it's a pure, uh, pure waveform. So, bursts pure waveform. And that's what uh, I wanted to tell here. The remedy for such uh, bursts and oscillation is damp the power supply lead and damp it directly on the um, as close as can be to the transistors. I have already made here this decoupling unit but this did not work. It's too far away from the uh, actual uh, electronic circuit. Too far away. So it must be close to the uh, amplifier. And these problems uh, you will meet them also when you want to uh, make an amplifier or audio amplifier with a chip. Exactly the same problems can occur. So the remedy for oscillations and burst, bursts, damp the power supply lead, use an earth plate, tin plate here, glue that to the underside from your circuit, the wooden circuit, I always use wood, and also a remedy could be lower the supply voltage. This sometimes uh, works to um, make the whole um, circuit less sensitive. Also important to damp out oscillations, uh, connect small capacitors from 50 picofarad between the base and the collector or the base and the emitter or at the input from your amplifier. This will limit the bandwidth from that amplifier 
and that means that it um, gets not less sensitive, less sensitive for oscillations in the high frequency range. That's very important. I've done that here, by the way. You see that cap. 100 picofarad at the input and here 100 picofarad at the second transistor from the Darlington. Um, that I've already told. And also very important to prevent oscillations. oscillations. Use the um, only one earth point principle. When you have an amplifier like this there must be only one point somewhere where the whole circuit is grounded to the mass or the template. Uh, this is the principle from, from the amplifier that I'm building now. NPN transistor, PMP transistor, output cap and here is the smoothing cap that takes away, can take away oscillations. Often here there's a Darlington pair that's here in this circuit. This is the second transistor from the Darlington. This is the first one. And um, distortion for instance can also happen. That's, that's important. Distortion often has to do with a not proper aligning from the working point from the transistor. So use a scope and align the working point from transistors. I do that here for instance with this potentiometer. This potentiometer aligns the working point from the Darlington and you, it helps to set the, um, the, the transistor to the right working point avoiding distortion. Very, very important. There are more videos on my YouTube channel about the working point from a transistor. And I also found here that when I raise the supply voltage, uh, the whole thing starts to work. So, of course, this is all very experimental. And when you want, don't want to do these kinds of uh, experiments, it's also okay. You can buy, for instance, in the shops um, packages for uh, in which you can make with which you can make a good audio amplifier. But this is the pure experimental work, and I love that pure experimental work. And of course, not everyone likes to do all these experiments. This is my power supply sine wave generator and I hope to finish this project in a few days. It's a stereo amp, this is one channel, this is the other channel, I have to build it up again. So um, that was all to tell and I wish you luck.